everybody, Primal Instincts here, and today I've got a video about one of my favorite additions to my fossil collection. This is Mosasaurus bugii from the Upper Cretaceous. Uh, it lived, I believe, in the Maastrichtian stage of the Upper Cretaceous. Um, anyway, it lived in Morocco, and uh, this is from a lovely little shot, Wonder Crammer. This is a real tooth. It's in there. And, uh, this is one of my prized possessions. This is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Uh, what's really interesting about this too, I'll take it out and just place it on that there. It's actually very, very delicate. It's real, so. I'll get some lighting on that. This tooth is, uh, it's not serrated. Now, Mosasaurus teeth are not serrated at all, I don't believe. Um, perhaps the uh, inner jaw teeth, you know, they've got these back teeth in their mouths. Perhaps they were serrated, but I'm, these, I'm pretty sure their actual main uh, killing teeth were not serrated. So what this means, and I'm, I know this is already well known, I'm not, I'm not making a uh, hypothesis or anything, but this basically means that uh, Mosasaurus was a very powerful predator. It had a very powerful bite force. Um, it, it, the teeth were designed for breaking bone, and you can see they're very thick. I'm going to hold it up just like this. It's an extremely, it's very, you know, got a lot of mass to that tooth. Uh, this animal was about 56 feet long at its maximum. Um, however, I would probably put this one, because it's a different species of Mosasaurus, I'd probably put it at about 50 um, or 49. But, um, yeah, contrary to popular belief, Mosasaurus was not that big of an animal. Uh, it was a large predator, don't get me wrong, I mean, 56 feet long, that's enormous. But uh, when compared to other predators like uh, Lyopleurodon or Megalodon, who, you know, I think Lyopleurodon was 80 feet. 80 feet long, that is insane. And, uh, you know, Mosasaurus doesn't really compare to that. But still, it was, it was certainly one of the top predators of its time, and definitely one of the largest uh, in the ocean. So yeah, this is a... This, uh, I think it comes from a limestone quarry. I could be wrong. There's the, uh, the, the lateral view of it, and that's just gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got a lot of detail. Runs there. So you can see some of the, the rock here is kind of chipped away. Which reminds me, the tip of the tooth, or the uh, front lateral, I believe it is, uh, has been snubbed off. Now, I'm kind of disappointed about that. I don't know if that's because of uh, when it was being removed from the quarry, uh, if that happened to it, or I don't know if it's uh, happened before I purchased the tooth. But yeah, I'll probably be going back to get another one soon. They had a lot of them there. This was $80 from Wondercamp. So yeah, there's the tooth again in a bit more light. Try to get some focus on it. I'm sorry, the lighting's really bad, but if I turn the lights off, uh, you won't be able to see the tooth because it's a bit early in the morning. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have this quality for the video. Next time, don't worry, I won't. Next time, I'll probably be using natural lighting, to be honest, um, with maybe a, a better lamp. But uh, yeah, so that's my Mosasaurus Boogie Eye Tooth.